Well, Dave, the uh, the weather is cooperating. The wind is staying light, so looks like good conditions for uh, fishing. Let's go blast out, see if we can catch some black sea bass. Sounds good to me. Excellent. Let's go. We're on Buzzards Bay, in the middle of the bay, pretty much, and it's sea bass season. During that time, you can catch a lot of real big fish, fish up to six, seven pounds, in fact. I like to use Spro jigs, uh, and anywhere from two to four ounces, depending on how fast the tide is running. And I believe this also sort of imitates a squid or a small bait fish as well. I like to use braided line because it's, it's, it's thinner. The current doesn't affect the line as much as with monofilament, which can cause a belly in the line because ideally you want the line straight up and down. So as you're hopping the jig over the bottom, you can feel it tapping bottom and you can feel when you get a strike and you can set the hook. And then I tie the lure on using a loop knot. I feel that it allows the jig or uh, the, the lure to perform a little bit better as it's going up and down. You want that nice jigging action so the lure is hopping over the bottom. Even though sea bass will hit a lure without bait, I do like to sweeten it with a little squid. There's your squid strip right there. And then I like to split the tail of it. That not only gives it a little more action, it also helps it from, uh, prevents it from hanging up and getting snagged on the hook. So there you have it, and that's all you need for sea bass. I'm all set to go. All I do now is uh, drop it to the bottom and hope a fish climbs on. It's another real, real nice sea bass. Just got to get fresh bait and just come to the right area and send down a jig and that's all you do. Well, Dave, it didn't take us long to catch a sea bass dinner, which is a good thing because we're going to head back to Mattapoisett and find a place to drop in our kayaks. But first, we're going to check in with Parker, who's at the inn at Shipyard Park. 